Hi, we're back with Lorraine Sacco from Fife Chevelle and Associates. She is a concierge real estate consultant and she's going to give you an idea about what that is and how it may differ from your uh, normal concept of a real estate agent or a realtor. Uh, thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks Lorraine. for having me, Danny. Uh, what, one of the things we wanted to talk about was what sellers need to look for when they're hiring an agent to sell their house. There's a big, I think we were saying there's a wide variety of tools available and you really want to make sure that your realtor is aware uh, of what tools are available and using them to do what's best for you, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. There are a lot of tools available and a lot of agents will just put your listing on the MLS and they'll put a little bit of verbiage underneath the listing so there are a lot of tools. There are a lot of weapons that we have that we can use to sell your home quicker for more money. Right, so, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what the seller is looking for is sell a house as fast as possible for as much money as possible, correct? That's what our goal is. Yeah. And if you've got a real seller rather than someone who may just be kicking tires and testing the market, but someone right. that really wants to sell their house and, and get someone who out. really wants to sell their house needs to price it correctly um, or it will just sit there no matter how much marketing you do it needs to be priced correctly that's number one so well let's start from the beginning then when we were talking about tools that a realtor could use the minimum that any real estate agent is going to do when they're when they're looking to sell a house is what what's everybody going to do Everyone is going to put it on MLS. It could be with no pictures, one picture or two pictures. And if the neighborhood allows, they would put a sign in the front lawn. That is the absolute minimum. So when you say MLS, the multiple listing service, that's so that other real estate agents, other realtors know that the house is available and they know a little bit about the house, Correct. What, where it is, how much it costs mm -hmm. and, and maybe some features. So that's really what anyone can do and that gives you probably your least shot of selling it as soon as possible for mm -hmm. the most money if they're just doing the bare minimum. So let's start there then with just the basics of an MLS listing is how you might be able to tell whether your realtor is using all the tools out there or not. So if you were looking at an MLS listing um, out there right now, what are the first things you would look for that might be signs that all the tools are being used or not? Well, you're entitled to put 25 photographs on the MLS and that is very important to make sure the photographs are crisp, not blurry, um, and they're done in a way that it's not um, you know, cluttered and that it really sells the home. You know, if the home is on the river, there should be pictures of the home being on the river. The beds should be made. There, that's one of the tools. It's 25 photographs and with descriptions underneath the photographs to create the scenario and the scene. Right. I've heard more than one real estate expert say that that is the absolute most important thing in any listing is the photos. It is. And you know, I've I've seen listings myself, and if you see you know beds unmade, mm -hmm. things out uh -huh. in the kitchen. Even taking pictures on a rainy day, mm -hmm. you know, anything that doesn't show the house in its best light, I think that's what you're saying is use everything you could use to make your pictures look right. the best. Make sure that your trees are trimmed back, that you don't have the garbage cans sitting outside your home, that your windows are, the blinds are open, that you don't have clutter or dirty dishes in the sink when the photographer comes to take the photographs. I've heard you speak before about the idea about having uh, a car in the driveway. Mm -hmm. The car what? in the driveway signifies that there's no room in the garage so and that the exception. house doesn't have enough storage space. Right, so you want to have no car in the driveway. Right. It should be power washed, the roof should be power washed, the driveway. Flowers should be neat and pretty. You know. So it sounds like though if you're, you're going to do all these things before you take the pictures that these are things you're doing before you even put it on the multiple listing service. Before you put it on the multiple listing service that should be done because the people who are looking for a home you might only have that one shot. If there aren't pictures or it doesn't show your home in the best possible light they're going to look at another photograph. They're going to go to somebody else's listing and also a virtual tour is very important as well. The pictures are just little pictures here. Here's the bedroom, here's the kitchen. 
but the virtual tour shows you as if you're living in the house, as if you're it's your home. Give you more of an emotional connection it does. watching and that it, than looking at the photos mm -hmm. themselves. And the people, the buyers can imagine themselves being in that home at that point. I wrote down something you told me once before that the first offer is usually your best offer. So that makes sense with what you're saying now because you're explaining to do all those things ahead of time before you list the house because that first person in the door mm -hmm. may be your best shot to sell the house. Why, why not have the house prepared to look at its best at that point? Absolutely. Um, some sellers think that they don't want to change the way they're living, but if they want to sell their home, they need to hire an, a real estate agent or consultant who can help them and guide them what they need to do at different stages of the process. What about, uh, you know, if they've selected, they have a certain color scheme in their house that mm -hmm. they love. Mm -hmm. Is that something that is worth changing for a more broad appeal? Or do you absolutely. just let people use their own imagination when no, they come in? No, absolutely. People do not usually have imagination. So if you have... Um, you know, fuchsia on your daughter's bedroom. I understand that your daughter may love that color, but you have to appeal to the masses. So you should stay with neutral tones. It's not a lot of money to paint a room. Um, also, um, keep ahead of the trends a little bit. This year, um, the new trend in color is emerald green. So you might want to put out a couple <laughs> of throw pillows or you know, just change your rug, freshen up your house, make it inviting for someone. When you're going to have company come over, you clean your house, you make it inviting. Do that for the realtor when they're showing the home and also for when they're going to have the photographer come and take the pictures because that is your one shot. I, I heard that, and you could tell me if this is true, that it's really important. I mean, of course, the way it looks and that it's clean and organized, but that the smell of a house when you come in um, it's so important. Yeah. People do notice um, odors um, and they notice nice sm smells. So lemon is a smell that is, ha it has, they've researched it and they say the smell of orange is very important and lemon. Orange and lemon. Orange and lemon. And years ago, people used to, realtors used to bake the cookies so you'd have fresh baked cookies, but then they didn't know what to do with the pans. So they either be in the sink or they throw them in a cabinet, but uh, that is not the number one smell anymore. All right, so now we throw a little emerald in there, and a then little emerald some green. oranges right. and, and lemons that we're moving it in the right fresh. direction. That's the reason for it, because the oranges and the lemon smell right. fresh. Okay, so that's the first thing on the MLS you're going to look for is the photos, mm -hmm. um, the, virtual the way the house tour. presents itself, virtual tour. Uh, the next thing. Obviously, you're going to look at the information that's provided, right? Yes. Information is very, very important. The more information that the agent can put out there, the better it is for you. People will want to know, is it an equestrian community? Are you allowed to have, you know, um, a, is there a marina? Um, also, the spelling is very, very important. When agents are spelling, you have to, please, as a seller, check the MLS. Make sure it's accurate for your home and for what you're looking for. Um, that's very important as well. You know, obviously, you know your house better, with all due mm -hmm. respect to the agent, you know your house better. So, mm -hmm. review all the information there. Um, you know, they may have the wrong idea what floors are in some room, what materials right. are. So, make sure it's all accurate. And I know one, my, one of my pet peeves, and I think one of yours too, is the property description on the property. If you see mm -hmm. something that's one or two lines, mm -hmm. I mean, someone just hasn't put the, the effort in to create Mm -hmm. the visual that I've heard you speak about before. Also creating a features list is very important as well and on the MLS there's an attachment area where a floor plan you could attach the floor plan, the features list um, and the HOA information, application, things like that. So there's a lot of tools available to the realtors that sh they should be taking advantage of for the sellers to get the most of from their house and um, get the best price in the shortest amount of time. So you're saying between the pictures, the features, the description, what you're really trying to do is create a story and a visual right. about this house mm -hmm. rather than just a, a by me, mm -hmm. you know, kind of presentation. Right. It's, it's not about the agent. It's about the house. It's about 
a buyer coming in and they're seeing the house online and they're falling in love with your house and they want your house and that's based on the pictures and the video and the description yeah, and you know we all know we all heard about how hot the market is getting now and there's multiple offers coming in on mm -hmm. homes and and sales prices are actually getting a little bit ahead of the mm -hmm. appraised values so if your house is not selling mm -hmm. and you've done all these other things that make it so appealing what would keep a house from selling um well there's a few things um maybe the agent isn't available to show it um they're, maybe they're not doing their job and making sure that everyone who wants to see the house has access to and, that house. But I think that it's the number one most to just obvious put a, um, a sign out in the front lawn. And but I think the number one most obvious thing would be that it's not priced right, or else it wouldn't. Oh, be so. price is key. Price is all right. Key. So if your house isn't selling and your agent is doing all these things and using all the tools, mm -hmm. it's really probably don't just overprice price your too house. High. No, there, yeah, that's very very important. If yeah. you're pricing it too high. No one's going to buy it. And it's pretty easy to figure out why it's not selling in, Buyers in this know. market, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and, and I'm sure you run into a lot of people that say they want to price their house for more than what you know mm -hmm. it's going to sell for. And that probably means one thing, they're going to wait they're until gonna, they get more realistic. It's going on the market and then the, very quickly your listing becomes stale. Agents will not want, do not want to show it anymore. Buyers who are actually looking for a house, and we're talking real buyers that want a house within the next month or so, that is very important that it's priced correctly. That's some great information, Lorraine. Lorraine, yeah. tell people how they could reach you if they want to get some advice on how to sell their house. Your um, phone number, best phone number to reach you at, the or best, your email address? Sure, the best phone number is 561-373-6856. And my email address mm -hmm. is Lorraine at SaccoHomes.com. And it's L-A-R-A-I-N-E at Sacco. S-A-C-C-O, homes.com, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks so much for coming in with Thank us today. You, it was a pleasure. Thank you.